Practice leadership is a way of, of working that is all about um, supporting and motivating staff to be able to put into practice the vision that you have for the people that you are supporting. Um, there are a number of elements of practice leadership um, that are important. So the first element of practice leadership is that the, the manager or the team leader um, needs to be focusing in everything they do on the quality of life of the individuals that they are supporting. Um, there are many things that are important in the role of being a manager, but it's, it's extremely important that managers give the right um, message um, and the right motivation to staff by themselves putting the people that are being supported at the centre um, of the activity of, of the service, whatever that looks like. The second element is that managers have to be able to model and they have to be able to coach people uh, to be able to do uh, the, the, um, uh, the practice, to be able to put into practice, um, for example, active support or um, positive behaviour support. That means that they have to be out there, and they have to be not just in the office, uh, and they have to be out on the floor working with individuals and, and showing staff, especially new staff, um, but helping people to think about how to approach maybe a new activity as well um, that, that they haven't done before with an individual. Um, and they also need to be able to observe as part of that. Um, sometimes that means standing back, not working with people, but standing back, watching what staff are doing, and then being able to give them feedback um, and to coach them uh, and help them to think about what they've done and how they might improve that in the future. Um, the third element is that managers have to be able to um, allocate staff within um, the, the shift with, or w and whatever the nature that might be to be able to meet the needs and, Im and improve the opportunities, to increase the opportunities um, that people have to, uh, to take part in activities, to be engaged in meaningful activities and relationships, um, to experience choice um, and, and control over their lives. Um, and that means that managers, um, uh, those being the practice leader, um, need to be able to um, organise staff um, and to produce clear uh, structures and plans for staff to follow um, that obviously needs to have some flexibility in them but that, that, so that people know what they're doing when they come on shift to work with individuals. They know, and, and the individuals themselves, um, know who's going to be working with them for different activities. So having a, um, a shift plan, for example, that's for staff, also needs to be there so that the individuals themselves have a plan for their day and know what's going to happen. Fourth element is about reviewing um, with individual staff. Um, so, for example, providing supervision. And, and it's really important that supervision focuses on um, the practice, how well the, each staff member is doing in terms of supporting people um, that they work with. Um, and obviously, it's really if you've done observations, then bringing that into supervision is a really clear way of doing that. And, and we generally find that if you put um, uh, the support that staff are giving at the top of the agenda in supervision, that almost everything else you need to discuss will follow from that. Because from that will come issues around training, there'll come issues um, uh, around uh, health and safety, for example, um, and perhaps also around things like monitoring and, and, and paperwork um, and, and record keeping. Um, but if, if um, the practice is the first item, it gives staff the right message that this is the most important thing that they do. And then the final element is, is around leading the team. So this is about facilitating um, and leading team meetings so that all staff can work together both to celebrate um, the successes that they have uh, had over the last month or six weeks or however frequent the team meetings are um, through to problem solving. Um, and again, starting with a review for how things are going for each of the individuals that, have be, that are supported will um, put the, uh, the emphasis on the right elements that you want the team to focus and from there many other things will, will flow. The team meetings are also really important for ensuring consistency among staff, meet team, staff members um, so that when they're working with individuals they are working with the individuals the way the individual likes to work, um, not how they as individual staff team members um, might, might work.